Spider-Man Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man Wealth and fame he's ignored Action is his reward Look out, here comes the Spider-Man All right, let's see if we can switch up our suit. Uh, let's do, um, spider armor is fucking dope. Let's do the fear itself suit. Did I show off this suit before? I think I did. Hmm. And that'll probably be the next suit that we, uh, go into. Actually, you know what? I don't think I showed off the, uh, the 2099 suit, the dark version. I should check on Miles. Isn't the 2099 hey, suit supposed to be like glowing up and shit? How you're doing with the news about Lee. Isn't it supposed to have like uh, glowing patterns on it or something like that? May and I would understand. I did want to quit when I heard. Then I remember what my dad used to say: a hero is just a guy who doesn't give up. That's true, assuming he's doing the right thing. I got you that job. I'd hate for you to keep doing it if you think it's wrong. Oh, the people here. Nothing Martin Lee did is their fault. They need help and I'm helping them. I think Dad would want me to stay. I think he'd be proud. I know he would. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Pete. You've got to go. May just gave me a list of all the supplies to get. All right, later. Martin's a good kid. I mean, Martin. Did I just say Martin? Holy shit. I didn't mean to say that. Miles is a good kid. <laughs> uh, our boy Morales. Peter. You okay? I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. And these people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since... No. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So... How are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So... Are you honest with her? Oh, uh, man, did you just squeeze mustard on that piece of bread without taking the cap off? Look at that spider boy. Leave a message. Yuri, where are you? Call me when you get this. I just hope the devil's breath is still there. And still secure. If the demons got to that truck, this just went from bad to catastrophic. Come on. <laughs> we can make it. Man, I'm not talking that much because I'm really enjoying the game. But also, I'm still fucking sick and it doesn't go away. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be, but I still got a fucking cough. I got a bad cough. You know? Life is dandy. Life is good. 
Life is what you make of it. It's all good in the hood. A word of caution to everyone celebrating. Yes, it's good that he's in jail. But look at all the things we... Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh-oh. Should have worn your seatbelt. So, one of the things I gotta get props on with this fucking game is the goddamn marketing team for this game. Because they made it seem like the Rikers breakout would take place at the beginning of the game. But that's actually like a side thing. Well, it's not a side thing. Um, It's just kind of a... It's not the main important part of the story. So they did really good with the marketing of this game. Not only that, but I mean like... The, the marketing of the game is... It's, it's fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> is that bad? This is gonna sell like a motherfucker regardless. Like how that Amazing Spider-Man 2 game sold. I remember when I kept telling... I remember when that game was coming out, I kept telling my friends, I was like, don't buy that game. I was like, come on guys, that game looks like crap. Don't, don't buy the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And they were like, you don't know what you're talking about, man. And then you play the game, and the game just... It's not, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It felt like a bootleg Batman. Fucking, um, like, I believe that game was on PS4 as well as, like, PS3, uh, Xbox One and 360. But, I just remember seeing that game and I'm like, I'm not, here's my rule, graphics don't make a game, but if you're making a fucking Spider-Man game, and you're got, and it's like, what, what time, what, uh, when did that game come out? 2014, I think? It's like, if you're making that game, right, and it's like 2014, and your game looks a little bit, looks like a, look like a, a brushed up version of a goddamn, like, late PS2 game, then you're not doing something right. <laughs> Especially if it's fucking Spider-Man, with all the money that motherfucker has in his, in his goddamn repertoire, right? Man, I just, I just remembered, I just remembered it. I was like, come on guys, don't buy that game. It was like the same thing with No Man's Sky. I remember when, uh, when everybody was getting hyper for it, and I was like, what are you talking about? I haven't, like, A, we haven't seen any gameplay, and whatever gameplay we saw was just some dude, uh, like, grabbing materials to make a ship so he can make a better ship to get more materials. Right? And then that game came out, and we all know the shit fest that happened there. Man, I was so happy. There's no, there's no better feeling in the world than just, than just knowing that you were right the whole entire fucking time. Of course, right now, No Man's Sky is probably a way better game than what the fuck it was. I wouldn't know because I was never interested in it in the first place. But. Man, I'm just whipping ass and talking at the same time. I'm doing pretty good here, actually. With my low-ass health, now that I think about it. Huh. Not doing pretty good, actually. Ow! Fuck, man. That one hurt. They're coming! Where is everybody? They're attacking my car! 
<laughs> I love how panicked this man sounds. He's like, they're attacking my car! Ah! I mean, he has a right to sound panic. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that's Big Mike right there. Ow! Stop hitting me, man. It's not cool. Listen, I'm worried about the big guys. I ain't worried about you fucking small fry, ow. Alright, let me switch back up. Actually, you know what? Here, hold on to that real quick. Huh. Look out! Man, whoever was in that tower is fucking dead. Whoop! Actually, you know what? What are my upgrades right now? We're going to, uh... One half health. That's pretty good. Uh, ground strike. Perfect dodge. That's a good one. Perform a second finisher. On basic enemies. That says on basic enemies, but I mean, like, there's a lot of basic enemies in the game for the amount of double finishers you can do. Ow! Stop aiming at me, jackass. Whoop! Every time I do a fucking a takedown, I I look at my goddamn meter and I realize I just did a fucking takedown. I could have healed myself. Oh, what's up? Homeboy. Oh, no. Huh. Huh. Who's aiming at me? Somebody up there? Where are you? Oh no, you're down there. I got gotcha. you. Wrong person. Good work. Just a few left. I didn't even get no fucking line for you. Game didn't even tell me you were shooting at me. You just fucking fired shots. I'm gonna heal myself. Huh! Hold that for me. Man, that shield ain't do, do shit for you. Why that man go flying? Why you went flying like that? Ew, it was gross. I love mashing the square button. It makes me feel happy. I like that there's an option in this game to just turn off the quick time events. Right? Which... Which, I think that's an option that, uh... That all the Resident Evil games should have had, cause... When Resident Evil does quick time events, oh boy are they quick! The amount of times playing Resident Evil 6, I know a lot of people don't like Resident Evil 6, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. The amount of times playing Resident Evil 6, and you're playing as uh, Jake and Sherry, and then fucking you're on the bike and you got to slide under the goddamn truck. And that goddamn quick time event shows up for like a split second. The amount of times you fucking wipe out on that shit, it's hilarious. And then... Whoever's like doing co-op, he was yelling at you. They're like, "Come on, man!" He's like, "You don't understand. It's fast. It's quick. It's too fast, too furious. 
You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the park! Just in time for the fire! <coughs> Man, does that cough sound as bad as I think it does? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad this situation Sounds like I'm coughing up a goddamn lung. Join the party. <coughs> give me a second, man. I said give me a second. Ow. <coughs> okay, asshole. I said give me a second. And you didn't give me a second. And your fucking friend showed up. I'm sorry if the cough was like loud. I don't mean to cough on the mic. I really don't. I wish I couldn't. Ow, dude. Fucking hurt. Move, asshole. Man. I would probably say the downside. I fucking love that takedown. Oh, I missed the last part of it. I love that takedown because the amount of speed and impact it has. Oh, shit. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? I was saying something. Oh, yeah. The downside of having... Ah, what the fuck? Holy shit. That did a lot of damage. Ah! Oh, stop! It hurts! I said... Oh no! I'm pressing the button! I I was mashing the circle button so hard! Come on! That one wasn't my fault. You can, you can hear me mash that circle button on the goddamn mic. How hard I was mashing that shit. Alright, well... Come on, man. I dodged that. Get the fuck out of here with your bullshit. Let's just do that. Makes my life easier. Do that. Do that. Sit down. Get back. Do that. Do that. Oh! I picked it up with the guy on it. Oops. Do that. Do that. that bam there you go there we go see wasn't that hard we just web everybody up which is what you're supposed to do. But I just like beating them. I just like hitting them in the face. Real hard. Oh, hi, Rhino. Uh, hope you like surprise, Spider. <laughs> surprise? What is he talking about? Hey, what's your status? Me? Just trapped in a prison with every criminal I put away. Ah! Uh, this is too good. You had Spidey sense, Spider-Man. Can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. <laughs> Does Scorpion have a fucking lisp? Because it sounds like he has a lisp. But I don't know if he has a lisp or not. Get webbed up, boys. Shout out to all the webby boys out there. Let me sit down. I'll keep tracking Electro. Eh. You're fine. Right. Hmm. Am I missing somebody? Oh. Get it off. There we go. Huh! Come on, Spider-Man! I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. 
Yeah, what's got in this guy? Come on, spider dude. I can't I can't see. There we go. I'm coming after you, Electro. You can't stop me. But I'm glad I let you still try. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you. Ah! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fuck. <laughs> I just love it. All right. Okay, I got the security cameras back online. How's it look? Well, it looks like the entire population of the raft has escaped, including Martin Lee. That makes five of your worst enemies that are now on the. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were serious. I am serious. I have to go. Some of them are heading into the city. Ow! What the hell? I'm supposed to go this way. Oh fuck! Uh, come on! I dodged that and I still took damage. That was some BS. All right, I was trying to boost myself there. Come on, dude. Come on, game. Why are you being like this? How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. I do like the way Electro is in this game. Remember, he said not to kill him. Good idea. In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. What is with that fucking tail that Scorpion has that just Spider-Man for some reason for the life of him cannot detect because every time Spider-Man gets knocked out in this game, it's always that goddamn scorpion tail. Oh my god, it's the Sinister Six! What the fuck? Ew. Ew. Wow, that wasn't supposed to happen. The raindrop got in front of his face. That was gross. I'm happy that that was recorded. I'm so happy. Just like, uh, hey, hey, Mr. Octavius, you're not that scary when when the raindrop is in front of your face and I can't see it. That's the beauty of in-game cutscenes. How does nobody notice this man ruining the ruining the goddamn the goddamn sign? All these years, all these lies. 
It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. How Octavius isn't affected by this after he breathes in all that gas? Because you put a gas mask on two seconds later. It took him forever to put that fucking, that goddamn gas mask on. He should be infected by that. This bullshit. Turn the TV off for me, even though I'm the closest to it. I have to assert my power. Oh man, now you got blood all over your ice. That's not good. The moment you drop that ice on the ground, it's over. Your drink won't be cold no more. It's over. Just give up. Drink a lukewarm ass drink. Sipping on that purple drink. Mmm. Delicious. Dr. Octavius. Why? How did I let this happen? Just got a call from the hospital. They said you went AWOL. I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sable. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? How do you see through that mask? It's like the end of the world. Maybe it is. All right, cool. Man, one thing that I that I love. Oh, just look at this. Oh, I just really, I really want it right now. I have it on my other save file. I have everything besides this one on my save file. But it's just so cool. Fucking Mark IV. Arr, I love it. It's just a... See? See, look, look. This is what I mean. Here's the Iron Spider, right? I feel like it's just too much. But this one, it's just your classic ass. Red and blue. With a different Spider logo. It still has the fat... The fat red spider in the back, but that's all right though, because now the light reflects off of it. It's all shiny and shit. See, I just don't like the fat red spider on the back of this, or the one on the back of the Stark. It looks kind of shitty. I'm not gonna lie. It's like Tony Stark was like, "Is this how you make a spider? I don't know. I don't know how to do it." Uh, we're gonna switch it up. So. Remember when I was all like, eh, I don't, I don't know if, uh, hold up, actually, no, not suits, skills. The skills to pay them bills. Alright, remember when I was all like, eh, I don't know if, uh, the black cat stuff was DLC or not, so it actually isn't. I found out that it's not DLC, this is actually in the game, right? And your reward for doing that is this. And you're not going to see Black Cat until the first DLC comes out. 
which should be in October, I believe. So that's next month. I'm on it. This is our city, Yuri. It's time we take it back. Great. My men are tracking the supervillains. Cool. We're gonna ignore those. Um. Do your best to stabilize the city. But uh, yeah. I like. I thought Black Cat would be in the game, but she's not. She won't be in it until like the first DLC, which is called the Heist. So I'm I'm sorry for doing that that Black Cat stuff without recording it. Uh, but m I mean, it was most of the same thing. The stuff that we already did with Black Cat on the playthrough it was most of that, and then well, most of that it was nothing but that. And then you head to her hideout, and her hideout is just no nothing crazy to look at. It's just you know kind of there. And you just miss some bits and pieces of dialogue, but that's it, really. It was nothing, like, extravagant. At least not, like, Taskmaster, at least. Which, again, I'll be showing off the Taskmaster stuff via the PlayStation Share button. Because I fucked up. And I don't want to redo it. <laughs> but I'll be showing that after the main playthrough. I still haven't done any of the side quest stuff. I mean, like, side quests? Yeah, side quests. Side missions? Whatever. Whatever the hell you call. I'm more worried about you. Oh no, don't you do that. Beast is the safest place in the city right now. Our sister locations uptown, not so much. But we're safe and secure down here. Let's hope it stays that way. Love you, Aunt May. Oh shit. You too, Peter. I almost got hit by those fucking missiles. I'm waiting for my goddamn mission to pop up. It says pool. Let's go for a dip. Safety swim. Jump right in. Everyone let the fun begin. Will a splish splash splish splish something something fun. Safety swim for everyone. Now I'm just going to stay under here forever. Don't worry guys. I can breathe. It's fine. I'm a spider guy. All right, come on. Get me my next mission, please. That's probably like the down like the only down part of this fucking game is that you have to wait for the missions to appear cuz they want you to do side stuff to get uh upgrades and stuff. But the way I play games is that if the side shit is available to me right now that second, I'm going to go fucking do it because I rather get the upgrades before I start the main story. Unless it's like, unless it's like a game like, unless it's kind of presented like this, where it's like a bunch of side villains and stuff like that. Like how the Batman Arkham games did it. Like all that side content. Most of that I would just do it after the main game because I know you're not going to get like anything super crazy from it. And it's just like seeing more villains. I have to be honest. That one scares me. Might be the smartest supervillain I've ever encountered. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Hold tight, Captain. Where am I going again? Is, is that the Oz? Is that the Ozcourt building, or is that the Empire State Building? What is that? Where am I headed? That's a tall ass building. Attention, units. We have reports of multiple drive-by shootings. Please proceed to Madison. 